DCI Director Ndegwa Muhoro notes that lawyer Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi first made accusations against him in 2016 when he claimed that former CBK Governor Nahashan Nyaga and Muhoro colluded to defraud two foreign investors in the Tatu City plan of 5.3 billion Kenya shillings. An attack on my integrity. Muhoro says that he has sued Ahmed Nasir, who he says is showing contempt of court by defying existing court orders. Muhoro says the lawyer is once again on a fishing expedition aimed at capturing news headlines and trying to regain his fast fading glory or ego. I'm used to many allegations being made against me. I'm, I mean, it comes to the territory. Ahmed Nasir filed a formal complaint at Kilimani Police Station on Wednesday, claiming his life was in danger and that there was a plot to kill him. He went back again and wrote an eight-page statement, narrating how and why the said plot had been hatched. He said the director of criminal investigations had assembled a team of five police officers to kill him, adding that the five are well known for carrying out executions on behalf of Mr. Mhoro. Nothing substantive, my lord, was put on the table. Court case filed by Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, who represents parties that have interest in the Tato City project, is deemed to be the reason there is bad blood between the two parties. In his case, the lawyer linked the director of criminal investigations to a 50 million shilling bribery scandal, as well as the promise of 300 acres of land valued at 1.3 billion Kenya shillings if he swayed the outcome of a case involving Tatu City. We never made any recommendation. Muhoro terms Ahmed Nasir's statement as Wild West stories picked from rumors. He also notes that the atrocious obnoxious and preposterous allegations leveled against him are a desperate attempt by Ahmed Nasir to interfere with ongoing investigations being conducted by the DCI on complaints made against him as a person ranging from fraudulent activities he has engaged in as a lawyer to questionable and or forged academic qualification relating to his pupillage. Muhoro denies running any death squad as insinuated by Ahmed Nasir. He has challenged him to lay bare the basis and source of such allegations. He now says that he has issued fresh instructions to sue the lawyer and media outlets that ran the story. The DCI says he will continue to receive and investigate complaints irrespective of the status of the person being complained against. Leila Mohamed, NTV.